Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's 4 for 5 video. We're going to have a look at the weather. We're going to take the 14 days for today's final video date. Um, we'll take it to the 29th of May. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the XL GFS and ECM ensembles. The rain will dry in a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for June itself. And uh, I shall get on with it for you in a moment. I wasn't going to say four weeks. I was always going to say June. Um, we'll get on with it for you in a moment. Uh, just to say that first, a video today was our 6am UK weather forecast. We've also released a little bonus video looking at the uh, bank holiday uh, weekend, spring bank holiday weekend. It is the second update for that. And Jamie Friday, bit of a turn up of the book with Jamie Friday today. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I won't let any cats out of the bag, but it's quite an exciting one. So check it out and see what you think. Please like, share, and subscribe on the video. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. I do hope you're having a lovely, lovely Friday as well, by the way. Right, well, we'll crack on then, shall we? Starting off with uh, the Centering Temperature. CT has uh, ticked up a slight, I think, to 12.1. It's one degree above 61 diatonic dying average. That's visual to yesterday. That will carry on rising now. Um, and it will be very interesting to see where that's going to end up. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're at London today, the red line. Is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London starting off around you know, slightly below average at the moment, but those upper air temperatures will be picking up over the next few days, especially through the last week of May and into early June, becoming really quite warm then, uh, significantly above average. Also looking quite dry as well, not totally so. There's a few little precipitation spikes uh, in the graph, you know, there or thereabouts, but. To be honest, not many of them, and uh, I think the trend is definitely a drying and warming one as uh, we're going on into the last stages of May and through to the start of June. Temperature anomaly, Sean, the 19th, 27th of May, are coming out a little bit above average in the north, near a normal further south. Maybe even a little bit below across the far south of the country. Not a particularly big deviation either way. Our precipitation anomalies from the 19th, 27th of May, they're coming out drier than normal as well. The latest wind from that from Earth, Nullschool.net, shows back to high pressures reaching in from off the Atlantic into Western and also Northern Europe, taking the areas of low pressure away to the northwest of us today. And that ridge is still there on Monday. So this time later, you can let your run looks at midnight Monday. Ridge again from the Atlantic up to northern parts of Europe. That high pressure sticks around them through to the middle part of next week. A big area of high pressure sat over and to the north. The country winds coming in from the east. So lots of dry and uh, pretty warm weather through the course of next week. That gets us to next Friday, 26th of May. I can't again with a ridge of high pressure from the Atlantic into northern Europe, bringing lots of dry and fine weather with it. That high pressure continues to ridge through the country through to the end of next week as well. We're high and dry there with ICON, the GFS Midnight Run. It's all much of a much issue through the early part of next week. High pressure in control by Friday next week. That area of high pressure is actually sitting over the top of the country. Central pressure, in fact, is 1,035 millibars. So that's a very large area of high pressure indeed. And that anti-cyclone sticks around the country all the way up to day 10, which is Bank Holiday Monday, 29th of May. Beyond that, the high pressure then starts to move up towards Greenland and Iceland. We begin to pull in some just a little bit cooler and a little bit more showery, maybe, into the opening days of June. I'm a bit dubious about this, but, um, you know, that's how we get to the 4th of June, which is as far as we get to with the GFS Midnight Run. High pressure in the North Atlantic, heading up towards Greenland. Low pressure in you know, Scandinavia. And a little bit of a cool north or northeast of the uh, wind has set in there. Shades of early June 1995, maybe, with that one. Da, da, da. I shall say no more. The GFS 6 then, looks like that. Again, high pressure ridging from the Atlantic into 
northern parts of Europe through the which is a middle part of next week. That high pressure then right in over the top of the country on Friday, bringing lots of dry, warm weather with it. High pressure continues to dominate all the way up to Bank Holiday Monday. Weather looks like it's set there. Beyond that, the high pressure again, just a little way to the northwest, but not going anywhere near as far north and west as like the um, the GFS Midnight Run did. So uh, we just keep high pressure over and slightly to the east of the country. We keep bringing in those warm east southeasterly winds. There is a bit of a thundery low sitting over Biscay, possibly threatening a bit of a fungy breakdown. But that's looking warm, uh, potentially very warm, into the opening days of June. If you're enjoying the video, please tell you like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for everybody in that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't get to your friends about Gaz Worthies. It's amazing. It's incredible. We thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Another 65 subscribers, something like that. It's all we need now to get ourselves to 15.9k. So if you could give us a sub, that would be amazing. Thank you so much, everybody, for giving that. By the way, we're going to be doing a charity live stream a week on Saturday, a week tomorrow, 27th of of uh, May, we will be uh, raising money for Rainbow's Hospice. They provide uh, vital care for children and young people uh, with uh, life-limiting and terminal illnesses. Um, so, uh, I'm going to be launching a Just Giving page and launching the event, you know, tomorrow, actually, on the channel. There'll be a little video popping up telling you about the event and, and whatnot. And then that's going to run that all through next week. And then it will culminate in a three hour live stream that we're going to do on Saturday, uh, 27th of May, a week tomorrow, a week on Saturday, um, from 6 pm until 9 pm. It's going to be absolutely epic. And we're going to try and raise some money for a wonderful, wonderful cause uh, Rainbow's Hospice providing vital care for children and uh, young adults in the East Midlands region more tomorrow right back to business gm again high pressure regime from the united into northern europe bringing lots of dry and fine weather with it into the middle part of next week that high pressure again sitting around the country high pressure just dominates and dominates and dominates right the way up to day 10 which gets to the 29th may maybe a little bit more showering cooling to the far north of scotland by then but still basically we're under a high pressure influence, and then uh, also run to the influence, which is not the first time. Gaspin <laughs> and to the influence. Um, no, uh, well, on to the ECM finally. High pressure, <laughs> Richie. Oh, I'm gonna get myself into trouble. Uh, high pressure, Richie, off the line into uh, Northern Europe on Monday. Brings us to dry and fine weather with that high pressure sticks around through next week. Very little rain, if any, getting into the south, and all the way up to day 10. It really is a high pressure fest. The anti cyclone is well and truly. In control. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from tomecho.com. Some heavy showers today, actually, but once they're out of the way, the trend will be to drier weather, except in the north. So over the weekend, a few showery bursts, Scotland, Northern Ireland, in Wales, mostly dry and warm. Into the next week, again, you see just lots and lots of dry weather, a few little bits, pieces of rain. Far north and northwest coming in going, but the emphasis is always on dry conditions. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. Gets us to the 29th of May. Uh, from the United States, 17 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure right over the top of the country. Bridging in from off the Atlantic, that includes patrol and operational run. 14 again, big ridge from the Atlantic into northern Europe. That's going to bring mostly dry weather with it. 13 high pressure. Is over Scandinavia, we tend to be in from the east, lots of dry weather with that, and seven with a large area of high pressure over the top of the UK and Ireland. They're all anti cyclones, just the exact placement of the ridge is a little bit uncertain, but they're all, you know, singing for the same hymn sheet for day 10. And two in time, these are the options that we've got. We'll get us to the 3rd of June, 23 members of the ECM ensembles with a large area of high pressure in Scandinavia. Winds in from the east, mostly dry and warm. 14 with a ridge from the Atlantic into Europe, mostly dry with that. You would have thought, and then another 14 have a high pressure just a little bit more to the north and the northwest, possibly allowing something rather cooler to come around the edge of the high pressure 
a little bit more of a northeasterly uh, breeze. But even that one, it's not bad, you know, it's high pressure still, bring mostly dry conditions. And then the CFSB2, uh, lastly, so this is the latest 700 millibar height anomaly for June. Today, high pressure is in control, sitting over and to the north of the country, low pressure to the south, winds are in from the east. That looks like it should be a very warm and uh, dry June. The temperature anomaly is in the red there, so that's like one, two degrees above average, significantly above average temperatures for June. Precipitation, no particular signal for us. Scandinavia, though, looks very dry. Spain looks rather wet. I suspect we would come away with a dry June in reality if that was indeed our 700 millibar height, height and only potentially a very dry June um, with that. We shall see. If you've enjoyed the video, please can you like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell friends about Gals Web. It's our send to subscribe as well. And that's amazing and incredible. And we thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Right, I'll just tell you what's coming up over the weekend. It'll be an epic weekend of content. So tomorrow, we're going to start off 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. You'll have the ECM Day 42 day forecast. We'll be the weekend forecast at 10 to 14 day. And as I said in the middle of this video, we will be starting our charity event tomorrow as well. So all the detail on uh, on on uh, rainbows, hospice, and you know what we're going to be doing and how you can donate, etc., 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 all to come tomorrow. And then on Sunday we're going to have once again the 6 in UK weather forecast. We will have the 11th and final summer 2023 update. Going to be QBO special this week, and that will be followed by a 10th to 14 day. It's an epic, 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 epic weekend of uh, content. So please keep checking back to the channel for more. And uh, for this video, though, and for today's video, that's all for now. And thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.